Hello YouTube, um, it's my second tutorial video. I'm just basically going to show you where to get G-Snap and what to do once you've downloaded it. Alright, so you open your internet browser. I'm going to be using Google, which is the just my basic page. And um, type in G-Snap. So that. And it's the first one. It might be, I don't know if it will be different for you, but this is the first one for me. You have this page and you click download GSnap. You can download this skin. Um I didn't, I don't I'm not sure what that is. I think it just makes it look better. So you click download the uh, G Snap. And it's downloading. I've already got it. So um I'll do it anyway actually just to show you. And when it downloads, go to your desktop and mine saved to my desktop. I don't know where yours gets saved to. So just double click it. You might need a uh, WinRAR to do this. You can download a free trial of that. Just search WinRAR on Google. And then when you get it, you just what I normally do is I normally extract, extract this file to my desktop and then when I do that I'll go into my computer drive C that's usually the one we're saved in if you have like, external drives it should be in a different one then program files and then lots of people don't know this where to find the Fruit Loops folder because they look for Fruity Loops, it's actually called Image Line, which is there. Then there's Fruit Loops Studio 8. Then I think, I can't 100% remember, I think you go into Plugins and then VST. And in there, you just copy it into there. See, there's mine there, G Snap. And um, that's just. Once you've done it, you just close it, and you go in. You have to go back into Fruit Loops. Now, once you're in Fruit Loops, put in your sampler. I'll show you how to do some other video. Um, let me find it. I'll just use the same ones in my last video to save time. And once you have that, you assign your free mixer track. Then you go to um, Browse presets. No, that's not right. You have some more. Then this will come up. Then you have to click refresh and then fast scan. Um, and when you do that, all the new ones should appear like in red, and you have to just click it on and off. And then once you've done that, it should be on this list here. And then you can select it. And then you have it there, ready for use. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I uh, hope to make new videos soon.